Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a craft fur with a rabbit strip trailer uh, jig. In the vise is a 1 8 ounce ball head jig. I cut the barb off before I painted it. Um, and it's got a 1 aught Eagle Claw 500 uh, black platinum, little nasty jig hook. Um, it's their equivalent of the Matsuo sickle hook. Uh, the wire is stronger. It's wicked sharp. Uh, excellent hook for this type of jig. So let's get started. Um, since we have nothing on the collar, we're going to take some Loctite super glue brush on and just give it a little bit. That'll help lock our uh, thread on. And we're using uh, an olive Danville flat wax nylon in a 210 denier. We'll cut our excess off there once we get our thread base started. And we're going to tie this down to where the bobbin hangs and a little bit further, right about at the, the point of the hook. Um, let me adjust the camera here to make it a little easier to see. There we go. Um, that's as far as we want to go, and we're going to come back up. And the reason why is we're going to use a, a rabbit strip trailer that's going to get tied on uh, to the hook shank. And we're going to have it about two inches behind. So what we do is we're going to take our rabbit strip, and we're going to put it like right where we want it. So I want it hanging about two inches or so. See right about there and we're gonna cut it off now the way to do this the way to cut rabbit strips um, I don't remember if any of my other videos had it but what you want to do is just snip the leather on the back of the, the strip that you get that little uh, that little bit and then you're gonna take it there you're going to pull it apart. And the reason being is so your end has the hair coming back off uh, the strip. You don't want it to look like this end. You want that extra hair off. So now that we got our strip cut, you might have a few hairs that are straggling. Get them off. And we're going to place our strip down. And make a couple securing ties to get it set. And then tighten it down. And you're going to have to make it pretty tight so it, it, uh, it won't spin on the hook for you. And you're just going to go right down to where you had your bobbin hanging, which was right near the point of the hook there. So now there's your trailer. Very easy, very simple. Um, now we're going to use this product. This is um, Hairline Dubbin Company's uh, Extra Select Craft Fur in a dark olive. This is really good stuff. It's really thick and it's great in the water. Um, we're going to use that. I already cut some off here, but what you do when you cut some of that off, you're going to cut it right down to uh, the fabric that it's on, and you're going to take it, and you're going to pull out this little bit of under fur. Uh, the bigger the chunk, the more fur you're going to get under it. Uh, you're going to pull them off. Now you're going to we're going to tie this just like we would uh, a bucktail or anything else, and I'm going to take. And I'm going to want this, the, the end of the hair, to come right where the back of the hook would be, right where the back of the bend is. So I'm going to make my mark. And we're going to trim it up. My scissors need to be sharpened. So I'm going to put that on there. 
make a couple of wraps, spread it out a little bit, tighten it up. And take another hunk of this stuff, and again, you're going to want to pull, see now this is a big hunk, and see all that under fur you got out, that's the stuff you want to pull out. Now we're going to measure this same way. We're going to cut the excess off. <laughs> Craft fur isn't bad to work with. Um, once you get used to the way it, it it goes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here just loosely. And I'm going to work it all the way around. I'll move my camera back and get a little bit better angle for you so you can see it. See how that's in the front? We're going to move it around to make sure our sides and everything has the same amount of hair on it. Uh, doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you want the density to, to be very similar. Otherwise, the jig won't swim as well as it could. And again, this is going to be one of these jigs that you're going to use in um, like mid-spring when the water temperatures are in uh, the upper 40s because it's going to have a lot of movement. But it's still going to be very small, so you're, you're, you're going to get a lot of bites. Um tend to like the craft fur as the water gets up into that mid to upper 40s, even into the 50s. Now once our craft fur is all on there, I'm going to take uh, some flash. And on this particular pattern, it's a it's a green pumpkin, and I'm using a, a olive variant rabbit strip and a dark olive uh, craft fur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for some contrast here uh, with the flash. And we're going to use a flashaboo accent, which is almost the same as crystal flash. I wouldn't be surprised if it was made by the same people, but one's flashaboo accent, one's crystal flash. And we're going to use this cobalt blue. So we get a little bit of uh, contrast with our flash compared to what our uh, our hair color is. And you see where I have that? I have it right down to where uh, the end of the hair is. We're not going to put a ton on, just a couple strips just to give it that little bit of contrast. Again, you're going to see that blue flash. Green pumpkin blue is always a good color, and that's what this is, similar to that. Get all our straggler hair out of there. And I think we're just about done. Uh, only thing left to do is whip finish, and I got a new whip finisher for Christmas, a 6-inch, instead of my little 4 that I've been using forever. Oops, see, I'm not even used to using this yet. And one more time. Three, four, five, six, seven, Let's trim the excess off and take our Sally Hansen's hard as nails clear. We're just going to hit them thread wraps a little bit. And we are finished except for uh, me trimming off that little piece that got some 
Sally Hansen's on it. That happens every now and again. And there you have it. A real simple craft fur rabbit hair jig with that uh, eagle claw little nasty hook. That there don't look like much, but trust me, that that is a killer, especially when you start getting up into the 40 degree temperatures. Uh, that is killer in the water. Give it a try. Let me know how you do. Thanks for watching.